Hey guys, it's me Drew and I'm here to do a candle empties video. I have been burning candles like crazy lately. Um, I just, I had a vacation from work and I had candles going all over and I had a lot of candles that were like halfway done and I was like, I'm not throwing them away. I'm going to burn them till they're gone. So let's go ahead and jump into it. The first one that I finished was a small mini diptyque um, from the Christmas range which was the Delicious Spices. And I've talked about this before, I don't love this scent. It has that honey scent to it that just makes it very odd. If you like those kind of scents, you probably would have loved this. It burned clean. As you can see, almost all the way to the bottom, it tunneled a teeny bit at the end because I ended up blowing it out and lighting it again. But really yummy, it was super strong. I just wouldn't buy it. Like, this was my least favorite out of the Christmas range. Next, I finished this candle I got at Anthropology. It is called, it is a candle fish candle. Um, this is a very interesting brand, and it's grape, mugit, and vetiver. It doesn't have a name on it, but so it's nine dollars. It didn't smell at all, and a lot of the candles that I'm going to talk about today did not smell. And like I just couldn't smell them, and I was like, maybe it's my sniffer. Maybe it like went bad, which. I don't know what I would do. That's my life. This is my job is my nose. So I couldn't imagine, but it wasn't, it's just, you can't smell it. In the jar, it smells almost like a bottle of wine, but burning, couldn't smell anything. It did burn clean all the way down. This was like two days. I had it in my bathroom. Oh, nothing, nothing good. I finished a Yankee Candle Pure Radiance jar. Um, this line is actually being phased out, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, this was in the scent Sugared Vanilla. It was okay. It smelled burnt halfway through. Um, I noticed that with a lot of wood wick candles, like that have wooden wicks on them, that they start to smell nasty after a while, but wasn't anything to write home about either. Then I finished this candle from Linnea's Lights. It is in the scent Hearth. And let me just talk about this again, was one you couldn't smell in the room. But, can we talk about the perfect burn? Like, look, there was literally absolutely nothing left in this jar. Crazy. But, Hearth literally smells very similar to Food de Bois from Diptyque, except this has a little bit more spice to it, but you couldn't smell it. Like, and it was a bummer. Then I finished Grapefruit Olander? Oleander? from Illum. I got this one um, a while ago and it's nice. I really liked the jar. It's like a short and stubby orange candle. Burned really clean. I pick up on the grapefruit. It's a very very sour scent but then it has a little bit of like a twang to it. A spice at the end. I'm not sure. I really liked it. It reminds me of a fragrance that you would smell with anthropology. Like it smells like fresh perfume you spray perfume in the air and then it hits a clothesline of uh, dresses. It's very odd, but like if you're drying like dresses, like springtime like tea dresses and you spray perfume and it just like glided over them. That's what it smells like. Kind of weird description, but trust me. <laughs> oh, my baby. I have to get more of these. Byredo Bibliotech. I have this in a perfume. Oh, it smells so good. It's like plums and peaches with a little bit of spice. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like old paper. It's, again, description. It smells like a book, and you dumped peaches and plums on top. So it has that old leather book, but with that fruitiness. I love it so much. And this also, for the black wax, burned all the way down and super clean, super strong. I finished. Look at this black. This is a Woodwick Pumpkin Butter, which you will now find Woodwick at Yankee Candle. Focus. Okay, focus. Now focus back on me. There we go. Um, yeah, Woodwick Candle was bought by Yankee Candle. You'll start to see them slowly being phased into the stores. They're going to stay this way. I don't think for long. I feel like they're going to be changed or something. Um, but... Uh, the Pure Radiance line from Yankee Candle is being discontinued to be replaced with the Woodwick line. Interesting. This was in Pumpkin Butter. Um, as you can see, they do burn all the way down, but about halfway, you 
didn't smell anything. It smelled like, like, burnt pie. I wasn't a fan of it. Again, it wasn't super, super strong. I was expecting this one to be knock your socks off strong, and it just wasn't. I finished a small tumbler of Yankee Candle Lilac Blossoms. This was hit and miss with strength. I love the way it smells. It smells like a fresh lilac bush. But it was hit and miss. Again, it burned really clean all the way down. It was that soy paraffin blend wax, but didn't smell super good. I don't know. It was... It was whatever. I finished the 1820 house. This was from the 2015 Christmas collection. Candy, fig, and absinthe. I love these candles. I love the way they look when they're burning. I love... Not many candles do I enjoy as they go down, but I love the way that this looks when the wax is pooling out during the burn time. Or during the burning process. Really, really cool. I love that. This scent is like a fresh... Fig. I don't really know what absinthe is. I'm not sure. Uh, but the fig smells really good. It's just a fresh, crisp fig. And the scent wasn't overpoweringly strong, but it was yummy. I'm going to take a sip of my drink. The Unicorn Frappuccino. It's interesting. Mm, it's very sour. <laughs> Next, Yankee Candle Soft Blanket. No scent throw whatsoever. Smells good in the jar. Couldn't smell it at all burning. Next. <laughs> Joe Malone Oud and Bergamot candle. This was one of their intense candles. As you can see, it burned clean all the way down. I really enjoyed this. I don't think I would enjoy it as much as the perfume. I feel like this is a really nice home scent with the Oud, which is a really, really spiced wood with the orange. The only person that I could see this on is... um. A 40 year old man I could picture wearing this I don't picture a woman wearing this scent it's, it's too masculine next this one I took the label off because this is one of the newer labeled um, tumblers and I wanted to see how easy it peeled off peeled off really easily but as you can see burned very very black this is spice pumpkin surprisingly with the burning didn't smell burnt throughout the whole candle I really like Yankee Candle Spice Pumpkin scent. It's very unique. I've never smelled a candle like this, so I will give it to them. It's nice. It's like a pumpkin with a little bit of spice. This is a very odd one. Oh, and I can show you. This is another newer label. This is the Candy Pecans um, Small Tumbler. I got this for like five bucks whenever they were first launching the new labels. This is okay. It smells like a very buttery pecan, but... The center was really good on this, but I've read a lot of people say that the jar was not strong. I did get sent all of them to review, and I got I lit the candy pecan jar. Didn't I can't smell it. I have it now. It's like halfway gone, so I'm just going to stick it like in the spare room or something and burn it because it's useless. It doesn't smell. But this one did. But as you can see, with these new labels, you can peel them off. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, so I started it right here. They peel off really clean so yep if you like that look to me it doesn't matter either way I don't I like the labels but and then last but not least was the line dried cotton I got this at the semi-annual sale one year it doesn't smell like anything to me it smells like fabric softener now, line dried cotton, this is the picture that I'm describing about the perfume of this candle, the Illum one. But, to me, this doesn't smell like anything burning. Again, Yankee Candles don't smell when they burn. It's just, that's a quality of Yankee Candles. They don't smell when you burn them. <laughs> yeah, so, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what candles you tried, or just comment, whatever. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!